Hello, Erik. Hello. You are uh, studying Wikipedia's uh, or what is happening then? Yes. And you have been doing that for quite some time already. Yes. I started in uh, 2002 uh, as a volunteer. Mm-hmm. And, and six years later, uh, I got the opportunity to to do it uh, as a contractor for the foundation, and I'm still doing that. Okay, and you gave a speech here, and yes. what was it about? I did two different subjects. I wanted to to nuance some of the metrics that we regularly show to the public and the press. Mm-hmm. Um, We always use rather extreme figures, but I would want us to be a bit more modest about the number of wikis. We have so many that yes. are successful, but we also have quite a few that are not successful yet. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, that's one topic. And the other one is uh, I wanted to study migration patterns. Yes. Um, there's been uh, some talk about the English Wikipedia, where there's a very slow but very steady decline since 2007 yes and I was wondering maybe uh, some of the editors did not leave our project altogether mm-hmm. but they maybe migrated to another Wikipedia language yes maybe to a language in their mother tongue that was not uh, viable a few years ago but now they see that it's growing up and they want to contribute yes so I looked at the numbers but it turned out there's not much migration really so Well, we know now, but we, I don't think we need to publish those reports monthly. Okay, but it's good that you check what is going on. Yes. And then you are looking also the Wikipedia's and what are the most biggest ones. So English is the biggest one, and what? Yes, English is the biggest one. And since an, um, and and since a f- few months, uh, Swedish Wikipedia is the second in size. Yes. It's been really growing. Uh, Uh, of course, partly because of uh, a bot that is creating uh, articles in a very large quantities, maybe a million articles. I'm not sure about that number. It's But more it's than a million. Okay. One. Uh, on the Swedish Wikipedia, has been created by a bot. It's mostly yes. about uh, taxonomy, uh, the insects uh, and insects and and plants um, yes. and where they belong in the in the tree of life. Yeah, and in the beginning you were against of these yes, r- both um, articles? More or less. I was a bit worried that it was used mostly for reasons of um, showing off, mm-hmm. uh, that there was a kind of competition between wikis. Uh, sometimes I heard people say, well, we were the sixth wikipedia in size and now we're the seventh, but we're going to fix that with a bot. And that, I didn't like that. Yes. But then I changed my mind later on. Mm-hmm. I had an Inside, really, I'll, I'll, I'll explain how that came to yes. me. Um, an elderly lady, uh, the mother of a friend of my wife. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has uh, been into um, um, biology for a long time as a hobby, but doing really great work. She's, uh, she's doing um, uh, uh, photographs of very small um, uh, mold, molds, slime molds. Mm-hmm. It's a kind of uh, you have to you can only see them uh, on a, a, under a microscope. Yes. But they clean up old rotten trees and things like that. They're beautiful if you see them on the picture. Yes. So um, I offered to help her to put them on uh, uh, comments, and so we did. We spent uh, several sessions, and mm-hmm. um, she she really enjoyed doing it, and I enjoyed her to showing how it worked. And uh, yes. And then I said. Now that we have them there, we want to put them into an article. And I looked in Wikipedia, can we find that article? And it wasn't there. Yeah. And it was particularly, it was especially the kind of articles that the bot is creating. So there is a good use for it. So I changed my mind. Okay. That was an interesting story. And thank you for the interview also. You're welcome.